Hey guys, Game Boy Blue Fun 6 here. And today, it's been literally like a while since I've uploaded my last video, and I'm sorry, it's all because of schoolwork, but now I'm back. And today, I've got huge news that Kyle Bush is officially driving for Richard Childress Racing. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe that this is real, folks. After 15 years since 2008, Kyle Busch is finally going back to Chevy, guys. You know, he's supposed to go to Stuart Haas Racing, but it looks like Stuart Haas, it looks like that Tony Stewart just wanted to have the same driver lineup as before since the 2022 season for the 2023 season. And apparently, it looks like that Kyle Busch may end up going to Colleague Racing, but he's now going to RCR, folks. And he's going to drive V8. Now, how do I think about it? Well, there are some pros and cons. Like, for pros, Chevy has been doing really well this year. Of course, 2018 and 2019 were probably bad years for Chevy, but 2020 seems to be a redemption since Chase Elliott won the NASCAR Cup Series Championship. And then 2021, Hendrick Morris Bush just dominated much of NASCAR in 2021, and Kyle Larson just won the championship. And I think in 2022, it's very likely that Chase Elliott might win the championship this year. So what will 2023 be? Well, I think Chase Elliott will always do Chase Elliott stuff. And I think after a stupid season like 2022, I think Kyle Busch will probably do well at 2020, do well for 2023 at RCR. Because, after all, RCR is really such a dominant team back in the day. Especially with the Intiminator. And I know that uh, Richard Shores Racing has three wins. Two for Tyler Reddick and one for Austin Dillon. I think Reddick might win one more race. So, will I ever see Kyle Busch do well? Well, he probably won't compete for a championship at all. But he will at least get a decent amount of victories. And maybe he will finally win the Daytona 500. Yeah, I think Kyle Busch will get a Daytona 500 victory if he drives for RCR. I'm not saying that he's actually going to do it, but I feel like that's going to happen. As for some cons, well, I know that Hendrick Motorsports has been a really good team. And not sure about JGR. I mean, Kyle Busch has been in JGR, but Hamlin has been doing really well, and possibly Christopher Bell, and even Truex. Yeah, Martrix Jr. did miss the playoffs this year, but he's doing really well recently. So... Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but we will no longer see any accidents for Kyle Busch. Like, for an example, Kyle Busch just spins himself out, which happens very frequently this year. I don't think we'll see any of that since he's in a good team. Sure, he might do some mistakes, but if he spins out, it's probably going to be when he gets taken out by another driver. And, yeah... I think Kyle Busch might be back to contention if he drives for RCR, folks. But at the same time, he might have some struggleness here and there. So, I won't expect the first few races for Kyle Busch to be good. But maybe when we get to April, he might do some really good races. Like, yeah, he might do really well. And what about his truck program? Since Kyle Busch Motorsports is a truck program... Well, it's probably going to be switched to Chevy right now. And, yeah. And, of course, Brexton Bush, Kyle Bush's son, might have some... I don't know anything about Brexton Bush, other than how he just races in his, uh... And whatever the heck his league was. And he... Brexton Bush does really well, of course. And, hey, maybe if he were to do NASCAR, he could be a future championship. Well... That's all I have to say, folks. So, I think RCR is a W, but not sure if it'll be an L. So, do you think Kyle Busch made the right move? Comment down below.